Thanks, Audrey. Ashlyn here, coming at you with another Keeper Talk. Today, I'll be talking about our axolotl. You can see him here, and I've got a stuffed one too. We have this stuffed animal axolotl because the axolotl has a really sensitive skin that we can't touch with our hands. So this is a good thing to study their body up close. Axolotls are really unique. They're kind of like salamanders, except salamanders you would see out in your backyard would live on land. They'd walk into a puddle, into the water, then they'd come back and live in forests, on the grass. This is like a salamander that never fully grew up. Grew up. It lives only in the water. Part of its adaptations that keep it in the water rather than up on land are its gills. Those are kind of the red fins on the side of its head, this part right here. Fish have internal gills on the inside, but the axolotl has external gills on the outside. You also notice it has a very long and thin tail to help it swim. It's kind of like a tadpole, almost like a tadpole that started becoming a frog. It has some arms and some legs, but never fully finished. The arms and legs are still webbed and it hasn't lost its tail yet. This particular axolotl is leucistic, which means its color is a little bit off. It's kind of like being albino. Um, normally in the wild, there'll be a dark gray or brown color to help them blend in with their environment. In the wild, they live at the bottom of lakes. And actually, only one lake in particular in Mexico, up in the mountains, a high altitude lake. Since they only have one habitat in the wild, they're actually nearly extinct in the wild. Issues of pollution, invasive species of fish that are eating the axolotl, and loss of habitat, again, only living in that one lake, are major threats to their population in the wild. It's kind of a conundrum though. I like to call it the paradoxal axolotl because in captivity, they are actually abundant, which means there are plenty of them, both as people's pets and in laboratories for science, scientists like us to study. Scientists think axolotls are cool for a couple different reasons. One, kind of being a salamander, but not fully completing the metamorphosis to live on land. And two, they can actually grow back their limbs. We call that regeneration. Now imagine, if we can figure out how axolotls can grow back their limbs, we can figure out how we can grow back our limbs. And that would really help people that got injured or lost a leg or an arm for some reason. And so that's why we wanna keep axolotls and their population up. They're really, really cool, right? You can actually help axolotls by saying no to one as a pet. They're pretty cute, but since you can't touch them, they're not very cuddly, right? Not the best pets. Thanks for hanging out with me in the axolotl today. See you next time.